sometimes there is pictures that uh, somehow the camera catches something you know unique and interesting that is not something that we see normally with our eyes um There was a rabbi here in Keva David, passed away like uh, I think seven years ago or so. His name was Rav Yosef Schwartz. So there's a picture of him that he was sitting in King David's tomb outside and he was smiling and somehow there was like a rainbow above his head. Um, I used to have this picture somewhere here and there was like they made like a little booklet on him. <coughs> very, very special person. Um and there is other pictures in all kinds of all kinds of different things. The rabbi that uh, that I learned by him, Kabbalah of so one of the one of my students that he he liked Ravichai very much, he invited him to a wedding so and he have a picture with of, of himself with Avichai and he told me that like you you can actually see light coming out of the beard of the of Avichai that is like you have like like sparks on in like in the ends of of the hairs of his beard and all all kinds of different phenomena like that so obviously there is something about it it's not it's not something that is uh, doesn't have meaning it has meaning now. Each one of those things have a different meaning. We need to look to understand what it is. <coughs> um, rainbow. People are afraid of rainbows. In like Jews are afraid of rainbows because it says that like you shouldn't look on the rainbow because it is connected with the with the Brit. So look on the rainbow is like looking on the Brit. You're not supposed to look on the Brit. And the, so the rainbow is a sign of a bridge between Hashem and the world that Hashem will not bring another flood. So that's one meaning of the rainbow, but it's not the only meaning. Rainbow is also a sign of the Shekhinah. It says about uh, in Chazon uh, Yechezkel, the prophet of Yechezkel, uh, that uh, he saw he saw a figure of 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 a human being with a rainbow circles uh, around him, um, and then and then he like he bowed down and uh, and he heard the angels uh, praising Hashem. Okay, obviously those kind of uh, those parts of the of the Prophets needs to be explained and understood deeply, um, but there about that rainbow, so it says in the writings of the Kabbalah that it was the presence of the Shechina there, and okay, what is the Shechina? Shechina is the souls of Am Yisrael. So whoever is walking on connecting to his soul, to his neshama, so the result is that he have more more uh, revelation of the shechina because it's there anyhow. It's there anyhow. It's not. It's not that it like it comes only then. It was there all the, all the time, but it's the question is how revealed it is and how hidden it is. So generally, those things are hidden. We don't see like uh, usually rainbows above uh, people's heads and so on, and we don't see the neshama of the person, and we don't see the and so on and so forth. But sometimes, for whatever reason that Hashem is choosing, so there is some kind of a revelation like that. That many times, for some reason, it comes with the cameras that. Uh, People are catching something in the camera that in the, in the eye doesn't it doesn't didn't see that. <coughs> so yeah, it's good. You know, it's a good it's a good sign. 
but uh, there's, there's other things that are, that are more significant um, to look on with Radashim. So the main thing is how can we strengthen our connection to our soul, to our to Hashem. Um, and then all of those different things, you know, the revelations and the miracles and the all kinds of different things are coming by the way. It just happened to be because someone in, is in that level. So it's there. It's not, it's not like something that, uh, you know, you have to, you have a list of things that you need to check mark. And then after you got all of that, you know, to-do list done, okay, you know, mission accomplished. Now you have uh, like a rainbow above your head know to to show you like a thumb up that uh, you did good that's not the, that's, that's not the idea it doesn't work this way but whatever it is whenever whenever something like that happens you have a nice dream that gives you like good sign so good Baruch Hashem, you know you're going in the in the right in the right way and Hashem is, is giving you a good sign that you are going to have uh, even better things coming with other Hashem. and so on so whatever it is the main thing is what we do with those blessings that Hashem is giving us. So if we're using the blessings that Hashem is giving us in a good way, so that will be a reason to get more blessings. That Hashem is sending us more blessings. Um, whenever someone is getting some kind of a blessing and is instead of using it in the right way, is the Atzara is, you know, making him to be confused and doing something wrong with it. So, okay. You know, Bezrat Hashem will do tshuva and tikkun for that. Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Can you answer? Oh, I don't know. Amen. Amen.